How did Tyler Kolick go from having no Power 5 offers to becoming one of the best players in college basketball? Tyler attended Cumberland High School in Rhode Island for his first three years. And in his final season there, he was first team all state and led the state in scoring with 24 points per game. But his high school career was not over, transferring to reclass at St. George. During his first season there, Tyler averaged 18 points per game and was a top player in the entire state, winning Gatorade Player of the Year for Rhode Island. He was a top crew in his state, but only a three-star according to ESPN and was not receiving many major college offers. He still had a variety of options, Elon, Holy Cross, Bryant, and some others, and eventually committed to play at George Mason. His freshman season, he went for 10.8 points per game, three rebounds, and two assists, and one conference rookie of the year. Kolick had no plans of leaving the Patriots, but after their head coach was fired, he decided to enter his name in the transfer portal. This time around, it was different. Tyler was receiving top level level interest, UConn, Providence, Virginia, and many other schools. But he committed to Marquette due to their attention to detail, watching so much of his film and having a plan on how they would use him if he committed. And that plan worked, making an immediate impact for the Golden Eagles, averaging seven points and six assists in his first season there. In year two, his stats took an even bigger jump, 13 points and 7.5 assists per game, winning Big East Player of the Year and MVP of the Big East Tournament, which he helped his team win. And this season, his number Numbers are somehow even more impressive. Having a record-breaking performance with a school record 18 assists game, and he has Marquette as a top 10 team in the nation, primed to make a run in March.